and welcome to another Montmartre art lesson. Today I'll be showing you how to draw a puppy. Now this was a request from Blazon Red X Dragon on our puppy inspiration video, so thank you so much for asking for this. For this you'll need a sketch pad, a pencil and a rubber. Montmartre have a great drawing range, but today I'm going to use the A4 sketch pad with the cute possums on it and the sketch and draw set. So grab your HB pencil and start with a squashed circle for the head. You want it a bit larger at the bottom for the jaw. Then move on to the ears on the side of the head. These are just rounded triangles. Draw one in front and one tucked behind. You'll see why we do this later. Halfway down the head on either side draw the eyes and again just squash circles, nothing difficult. The muzzle is a circle as well, but I'm just drawing in the top and the bottom sections. When drawing, it's nice to suggest a shape than, rather than draw it in completely sometimes. Again, the nose is just a triangle and in the middle of the muzzle. On the side of the head, uh, draw a ball for his paw and then another a little bigger on the other side. His arm is just suggested with a diagonal line and connected up to a circular body. Finally, add a little tail shape. This is just a sausage. Now you can start adding more detail. Add two small ovals for the nose, the nostrils. Draw in the fur, and this is really just random jagged lines all over the top of your guidelines. When you're drawing fur, think about what direction it goes on, a real dog, and how you think it looks good. I've just added a highlight to the eyes and then some more lines to suggest shape. Then finished off the fur on the ears, feet, body, and tail. Once you're happy with it, use a rubber to take any unwanted lines and then redefine the lines that you want to keep. I've also darkened the eyes, just as a guide for when I want to add the blank black paint. I finished off the image by going over the pencil lines with just a nice thin brush with a slightly pointed end and some acrylic uh, silver series black paint. And I basically went around and varied the line weight to give it a bit more interest. And there we have it. With just a little bit of practice, you'll be well on your way to drawing whatever you see in your mind or in the world around you. If you want more tips on drawing, painting, and sculpture, check out the Montmartre website, montmartre.net, where you'll find links to our Facebook, craft blog, family feed, and much, much more. Till next time, keep on creating art.